I've been here before. Uh, I must say I don't know why I drove. The, the Just for Laughs has invaded your highway. There's trick signs. I noticed coming into Montreal, out of nowhere there's a sign that said maximum 70. I didn't know that was a joke. <laughs> I thought I had to obey that law. I got in the middle lane doing the legal speed. I was passed by two cars going so fast that for a moment I thought I was getting younger. Whoa. I think I'm late for geography. I shouldn't drive. I only know one exit that can get me anywhere downtown. It's called Rue Guy. <laughs> in my opinion, you can get more lost in this city than anywhere else in North America. <laughs> Two years ago coming in, Rue Guy, I was waiting, my heart hammering. Oh, come on, it's got to be. It was shut down for construction. <laughs> oh, no. How do I turn around? I end up, eight minutes later, I'm in a lineup for a ferry boat. <laughs> no, no, this can't be happening. <laughs> I think I was waiting to go to America. <laughs> that, that's friggin' lost. Buddy, I'm just looking for the days in, man. We go to America. Ah. But I mean, to drive, I think in Canada in the summer, to drive is to ponder the agenda of farmers. Because as you drive, guaranteed, occasionally you'll encounter a wall of stink. <laughs> so disgusting, you actually lose your mind and roll the window down. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> so, now you're grossed out and stupid. <laughs> e Eastbound out of Toronto, there's a new billboard. Just struck me off. There's like a golden retriever, huge, huge, gorgeous dog. The only words, get your invisible fence. My opinion, a bit of a sucker's bet. You know, it'd be fun being one of the guys pretending to unload it off the truck. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is a really good one, it's so heavy. <laughs> the, the weirdest, this is a summer phenomenon. I'm on a northern road, a little tiny road, come around the bend, guess what's in front of me? Huh? A house. You can't even see what's pulling it. Just somebody's domicile rolling down the road. People, you can't pass a house. <laughs> me. That's all I got. My, my quiver is empty. Me. Honest, so you, so you sit there rethinking every decision that's led you to this juncture in your life, doing eight kilometers an hour. And I still don't know what was going on here. What, what is this, an agoraphobic having a vacation? Just, uh, just peeking out the window. Oh, it's so nice to get away. <laughs> I have one sort of crumbling opinion. I, I think it's hard to export bits of French culture piecemeal into English Canada. I say this because I was in New Brunswick, and I'm coming along. There's one of these grocery stores on the side of the highway, so they also sell fireworks and worms. <laughs> So, it's, it's best to scrutinize your purchase. So, I just want to test the waters. What do we got around here? And I grab some random item. Eh? They're selling this, they're selling cans of poutine. It said, just heat and serve. To whom? <laughs> Who do you despise? <laughs> to this degree. 
even the sound of it sucking its way out of the tin. <laughs> Just standing there stunned, wondering when something like this would come into play. First, there'd have to be a tragedy involved. Say your pilot, you're flying, your pilot has a heart attack, huh? And the plane into the mountains and the survivors get by for the first little while on leftover whatever, peanuts, toothpaste. You could use this stuff as a gauge like a red flag. And three weeks later, they cannibalized the pilot's legs. Everybody's just standing around miserable. Oh, man. I vote we skip the arse completely. In favor? Hey, buddy, you know, we still got that can of poutine in the overhead. <laughs> no, Billy. <laughs> Pull yourself together. <laughs> they'll, they'll get here, man. There's certain lines we are not going to cross. <laughs> you guys have been so kind. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>